What's one of the key things that um, we can do to really limit our suffering? Um, stop forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I mean by that. Um, let's say, how about this? Let's do it this way. Let's say we were going to go watch a scary movie. Now, I'm not one to watch them, but let's say we were going to go together, just me and you. And I would come pick you up and we drive to the nearest theater and we get an IMAX, you know, so we can really feel the experience. We go in, we buy our tickets, we get to pick our seats and we pick the best seats that give us the the most optimum um, experience that we can have with, with sound and, and vision and everything, right? And we get inside the movie theater and within 30 minutes to, uh, you know, an hour within the movie, next thing you know, there's a particular scene that comes on and whew, scares me, scares you. My popcorn go, your soda goes. And we got a mess, right? <laughs> People in the theater are mad, you know, and, and we just don't know what to do right now. But if you really think about how we got to this point, it was only one thing that really happened. We forgot. We forgot those were actors. We forgot this was a movie. We forgot no one was really harmed during the making of the movie. We forgot. We forgot just 30 minutes ago we were in the vehicle laughing about how much fun we were going to have. And that's how it really happens for us sometimes in our human experience. We forget. What do we forget though? We forget that we are made from universal mind, the creative energy behind all life form. And when we forget that, the things in front of us look scary. We forget, we forget that we're resilient beyond our understanding. And when we forget that, things in front of us look like they're overwhelming. Um, we forget that we are in a community that allows us spaces to heal. I heard a quote recently that said, healing is touching with love what was once touched with fear. And I really love that. Um, but that's one of the things we forget about this community. And so we suffer in isolation. So what am I saying? I'm saying that the one thing we can do to limit the fear we have in our lives. One thing we can do to, to limit our anxiety is to not forget we're awesome. Challenge the norms. Don't forget and thrive anywhere. Have the day you deserve.